That's what I was afraid of. Senator Gooch, you <coughs> recognize. I didn't want to let you down. Uh, Commissioner, thank you for being here. And Richard, thank you. Dick Anderson, I, I've known you for quite some time. Um, we appreciate what you do at the local level. I used to be a local government official as well. Um, can you, and I'm going to ask this question, not to be derogatory in any way, but it, just from a distance living in North Georgia, every year we have elections. We watch our televisions or we watch the Secretary of State's results come in. It seems like every year there's a problem, either a delay or some kind of a technical issue or something in Fulton County. Maybe I'm wrong, but it's just what I hear and what I remember. Is there something that you need from us at the state level or from the Secretary of State to prevent those delays and those problems in the future? Or can you tell me why there seems to be a continuous problem year after year? <laughs> I'll, I'll take a first uh, stab at that, and I might um, defer to the county manager and our chairman. Um, so I do think that some of that is we are a very large county. We have more polling places than other counties. Bolton County is 70 miles from north to south. It does take time to uh, close down the polls, get the results physically to the places where they can be uploaded. So. Some of that is geography and volume. Um, I also, uh, Chairman Pitts, I'm, I was born and raised in Cobb County. Chairman, County. Chairman is a proud native of Jones County. Um, we don't hear a lot about what's happening in Jones County on WSB. We don't hear about, um, out of our 158 sister counties, Fulton County is certainly in the spotlight and we recognize that. Um, so I think some of it is, is reality and some of it is perception. And Chairman, I don't know if you want to. Could, could I ask another yes, question? Yes, sir. Since the signature verifications is the responsibility of the local governments. Yes, sir. How can you ensure us as voters and citizens of Georgia that all of the signatures are authentic and not being forged? Um, I mean, if you don't mind, I'm going to take this off so I can <laughs> breathe a little um, easier. Uh, so I would say, uh, sir, that we pro we there's a state prescribed process um, that we have workers who follow that process. Um, there is um, the first step in verification is to look at the driver's license signature for that voter if it is available in, in the um, DDS system. And that is um, the first step. If that signature is not available, then the workers go back to the original voter uh, registration file and uh, follow that process. And if that is not, if they're not able to make a match from that, then that um, that application um, or ballot is denied, and or and then um, the voter is notified and given an opportunity to cure that process. So, um, I think that. It is our intent to follow the law, to follow the process that is provided by the Secretary of State, and to our knowledge, that is what is happening. Can you can you describe the training process of those employees? They were trained to do that. I, I'm sorry, I don't think that I could speak in great detail about that. Um, okay. But um, again, as I uh, shared with your colleague, that. We receive um, training from the Secretary of State. Our permanent staff receive that training. We do have additional workers during a large election such as this where the volume is so much greater. Um, and we, um, you know, they received a train the trainer process. So um, I couldn't speak in greater detail than that, but I'd be certainly glad to um, arrange for someone else who could. Yes. Thank you. Okay. 